if a variable straight line is drawn through the point of intersection of x by a plus y by b equals to 1 and x by b plus y by a equals to 1 meets the coordinate axis at a and b then the locus of midpoint of the line segment ab is so we have been given a variable straight line which is passing through the point of intersection of two lines and it meets the coordinate axis at a and b then we have to find out the locus of midpoint of this line segment ab so three things we have to understand one what is the point of intersection of these two lines second what are the coordinate where it is cutting the coordinate axis what will be the coordinates of a and b if a and b we know then what will be the midpoint the locus we have to take a point and then try to find out the condition then based on that condition we can find out the locus of midpoint of line segment ab so let us start first to find out what is the point of intersection of these two given lines x by a plus y by b equals to 1 and x by b plus y by a equals to 1. When we simplify this, the first line will become bx plus ay equals to ab. And the second line will be ax plus by equals to ab. We can solve this by elimination method, but a little bit observation will make us to realize that the right hand side is equal in both of them. That means we can easily establish a relationship between x and y. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll write down bx plus ay equals to ax plus by. When we simplify that, we will get b minus a into x equals to b minus a into y. We know that a is not equal to b. That means we know that now x equals to y. Once we know x equals to y, we can go back to the any one of the equation and substitute to find out the values of x and y. Let's go and substitute in the first equation. We have bx plus ax equals to ab or a plus b into x equals to ab or x equals to ab by a plus b. Since x equals to y, if x is ab by a plus b, y is also equals to ab by a plus b. Once we got this point of intersection of these two lines, now we need to know, understand what is that variable straight line we are talking about. Now what is the meaning of variable straight line? That means try to imagine all the lines which are passing through this point AB by A plus B comma AB by A plus B. If you are able to get all those lines and try to find out the midpoints of the line segment cut between the axis, intercepted between the coordinate axis, then you join all the midpoints that will give you the locus of midpoint of line segment of AB. Now instead of drawing so many lines, we are taking one line and our line, whatever we have taken there, we have to find out the now locus of the midpoint of this. So we will try to say that let point P with coordinates x1, y1 be a point on the locus. That means whatever the curve we are getting when we join the midpoints of all the line segments of AB for different straight lines passing through the point AB by A plus B comma AB by A plus B. P is also one point on that. So let us say that let P X1 Y1 be midpoint of AB. That means P is a point on the locus whatever we are going to get. Now in this scenario if P is X1 comma Y1 what will be the coordinates of A and B? We know that on X axis Y is 0 and we know on Y axis X coordinate is 0. So easily we can find out that the coordinates of A and B are 2X1, 0 and 0, 2Y1. If 2X1, 0 and 0, 2Y1 are the coordinates of the A and B respectively, what will be the equation of this line segment AB or this variable straight line. We can go to intercept form or double intercept form. Easily we can find out the equation of AB. For that, we will use the form that x by A plus y by B equals to 1 where A is the x intercept and y is the B intercept. Now in this scenario, we know that x intercept is 2x1 and we know that y intercept is 2y1. So, we can write down x by a plus y by b equals to 1. 
that means x by 2x1 plus y by 2y1 equals to 1. Equation of AB, what we mean there is actually equation of line segment AB or equation of the AB line x by A plus y by B is 1 and we know A is 2x1 and B is 2y1. We also know that the point AB by A plus B, AB by A plus B is a point on this particular straight line AB because we are interested in all the lines which are passing through this specific point. That means that point should satisfy the equation of AB which means I can substitute in place of x AB by A plus B and in place of y also I can write down AB by A plus B. Now that should give us a condition which should show us the path to find out the locus of midpoint of line segment AB. Now let us go ahead and substitute in place of x AB by A plus B and y is also AB by A plus B. What is that we are going to get? We are going to get AB by A plus B into 1 by 2 x1 plus AB by A plus B into 1 by 2 y1 which is equals to 1. Now you can clearly see that you can take AB by A plus B into 1 by 2 common there. So what we have now is AB by A plus B into 1 by 2 taking common out we have 1 by x1 plus 1 by y1 equals to 1. Now we can simplify that just to take LCM there and we will have 1 by x1 plus 1 by y1 equals to 1. Let us just take the simplify this further we will write down 1 by 2 into AB by A plus B into x1 plus y1 divided by x1 y1 equals to 1. Now this is the condition that needs to be satisfied and we know x1 comma y1 is a point on the locus. So what will be the equation of the curve which is joining all the midpoints of this line segments AB can be easily obtained by removing x1 y1 and substitute them with x comma y. So our equation or the locus of midpoint of line segment AB is AB into x plus y equals to 2 into a plus b into xy. So we have to understand this point very very clearly variable straight line that means all these lines are passing through the point of intersection of the given two lines and we have to see that all those lines suppose you have drawn them and for all the lines you calculate what are the values of a and b then take the midpoints and join all those midpoints that is nothing but the locus of midpoint of line segment AB and that can be given by AB into X plus Y equals to 2 into A plus B into XY. Now this is a problem from Telangana I Academy book for intermediate first year but I thought it is an interesting question. I can share it with CBSE or ICSE students also. So, just have a look at that and do let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.